hello guys welcome back again to my channel nami video worry girl yes i greet all of you according to your time so if today not the first time you did come god bless you and for my returning subscribers and viewers may god richly bless you all so my people today we're going to talk about the history of Benin city so make una let us know for the comment section the things when be like say if they go home for Benin city now this when i omit and any correction let us know for the comment section so my people make we enter the story Benin city is the capital and the largest city of edo state in southern nigeria it is the fourth largest city in nigeria after lagos kano and ibadan with a total population of 1,782,000 people as of 2021. So it is arguably because some people, they say Bini City is the fifth largest city in Nigeria. So my people, make on a let us know for the comment section, okay? So Bini City is situated on a branch of the Bini River, and lies along the main highways from Lagos to the eastern states. The city is also linked by the roads to Sapele, Siluko, Okene, and Ubiaja, and is served by air and the Niger River, delta ports of Koko and Sapele. Bini City is the center of Nigeria's rubber industry, oil production, and the subsistence farming of yam, plantain, and cassava, and many more. It was the most important city of the Edo Kingdom of Benin, which flourished during the 13th to the 19th century. It was destroyed in 1897 by the British who attacked after the Edo assaulted an earlier British expedition, which had been told not to enter the city during a religious festival, but nonetheless, he attempted to do so. Before burning the city down, the British looted it, taking many of its famous bronzes, ivory, and other treasures. Traces of the old war and moad remain. But the new city is a close-packed pattern of houses and streets converging on this palace and compound of the Oba and the government offices. In the main square is a statue of a mortar, a woman honored for assisting a 15th century prince attempting to regain power and who later became Oba Iwari. The present Oba retains traditional and adversary roles in government. The indigenous people of Bini City are the Edo people, that is the Bini people. Yeah, they are the Bini people. And they speak the Edo language and other Edoic languages. The people of the city have one of the richest dress cultures on the Africa continent and are known for their beads, their body marks, bangles, anklets, raffia work, and many others. So to my honorable viewers, over to you. If you are from Benin here, let's learn from you okay yes let's learn from you too let us know in the comment section what other things that beneath they are known for apart from the ones that i have already mentioned here so let's continue edo people the original people and founders of the edo empire and the edo people initially were ruled by the ogiso dynasty who called their land Igodomigodo, which means kings of the sky. Igodo, the first Ogiso, weathered much influence and gained popularity as a good ruler. He died after a long reign and was succeeded by Ere, his eldest son. In the 12th century, great palace in Triu and battle for power 
erupted between the most cherished wife of the last Ogisos and Prince Ekala Dera, son of the last Ogiso. Inaga, over an oracle that was framed to indict the crown prince instead of the Ogisos diabolic wife. The judgment was that the prince, a Kaladera, should be killed. The man that was sent to kill him released him towards Ekenwa and was left to escape. Meanwhile, an oracle has said the Ife should wait for their king patiently. When he arrived at Ife, he was made their king. In accordance to the oracle, yes. So that is why the Yorubas could not even determine where he came from. He gave himself a new name, Izodua, meaning I have found prosperity. This is what the Yorubas now call Odudua. When his father Ogiso died, the Ogiso dynasty was ended as the people and royal king's makers preferred their king's son as natural next in line to rule. The Ezai Ekaladera, now Odudua, refused to come to Benin because of how he was treated, having found out that he wasn't killed. He divided to send one of his son, Oramiya, he refused to return from Ileife, but sent his son, Oramiya, to become king in his place. Prince Oramiya took up residence in the palace built for him at Uzama by the elders, now a coronation shrine. Soon after, he married a beautiful lady, Eriwide, daughter of Osa Nego, the ninth Enoje of Ego. He and Eriwide had a son, but after some years, he called a meeting of the people and renounced his office, remarking that the country was a land of vexation, Ile Ibinu, and that only a child son, trained and educated in the art and miseries of the land, could reign over the people. The country was afterward known by his name. Allegedly, Oba Eweka later changed the name of the city of Ile Binu, the capital of the Bini kingdom, to Ubinu. This name would be reinterpreted by the Portuguese as Benin in their own language. Around 1470, Ewa changed the name of the state to Edo. This was about the time the people of Okpepe migrated from Benin City. Alternatively, Yoruba believed Odudua was from the Middle East and migrated from that area to the present Ileife. Because of his power and military mind, he was able to conquer the enemies invading Benin. That was why the people of Benin made him the Oba of Benin. In any case, it is agreed upon by both the Yoruba and Edos that Odudua sent his son, Prince Oramiya of Ife, to rule Benin city and found the Oba dynasty in Benin city. My people, <laughs> this on a fight too. <laughs> I don't know, I beg, Mona, let us know for the comment section whether the both place they really agree to this one. Uh -huh. So, more continue. Bini City has a popular festival called Igwe Festival. The festival is an annual event held in Benin to usher in the new year. The festival is an integral part of the culture of the people in Bini City formerly referred to as Benin Kingdom mm -hmm, or the Kingdom of Benin. The festival is believed to renew Oba Eware magical powers and its celebration comes between Christmas and New Year celebration. I be my people. The festival includes the Oba's blessing of the land and its people. 
Aside the cultural festival, the city also play host to the Benin City Film Festival. The festival creates room for the promotion of works produced by local film community. It also promotes content of national and international emerging filmmakers to showcase their works in an environment where they have access to experienced industry professionals. Benin City is home to some of Nigeria institution of higher learning, namely the University of Benin located at Ugbowo and Ekenwa. We have the Abrus Ali University located at Ekboma, the College of Education, Ekiadolo, Igbinedio University, the Bessie Daosa University, and West Spring College. There are many of them. They still have secondary school, you know. So we have Western Boys College. We have India College. I don't know. India College is in uh, which place again? So my people, now here I want to stop <laughs> because I don't want to make this video too long for now. Someone let us know for the comment section what you want to think about this whole thing when I don't bring come. So so my people, if you get anything when I omit, let me know for the comment section. Guess what? Now maybe they worry again don't forget to subscribe like this video and may you turn on your notification bell so that anytime when i post any other video now you go be the first person to do it to see ya. i go see you again for another video bye